Hey everybody and welcome to another physics video. We're going to cover an example using Newton's second law. It is not necessarily advanced, but it is more in depth than the one covered in the last video. Let's flash back to component vectors. If the displacement d was pointing in two directions, it could be broken down into two component vectors, delta x and delta y. Forces are the same way. If the forces is pointing in two directions, it can be broken into its component vectors, fx and fy. Let's do a quick example. John is pulling on a line with a force of 41 newtons at an angle of 25 degrees to the right and above the horizontal. Find the vertical and horizontal force. The force John is pulling is diagonal as it includes an angle. The term above the horizontal refers to above the x-axis, and sometimes it may specify which direction above the x-axis. Since the diagonal force and the angle are provided, the component vectors fx and fy can be found using cosine and sine respectively. Let's move on to the main example. Hendrix is pulling on a crate across a flat surface with a force of 80.0 newtons and an angle of 35.0 degrees to the horizontal. There is a horizontal opposing force of 7.0 newtons. There are two parts to this question. First, determine the net horizontal force, and the second says the crate does not move vertically at all and has a downward force of 60.0 newtons. Determine the normal force. We should start the problem with the free body diagram. Next, the forces should be included. Draw Hendrick's force, which is 80 newtons, and points 35 degrees to the horizontal. Draw the horizontal opposing force of 7.0 newtons. With everything sketched out, we can begin solving for the first part of the question, the net horizontal force. Since it is just asking for the net force in the horizontal direction, there are only two forces to consider, the opposing force and Hendrick's force in the x direction. We can easily find that by taking 80 newtons and multiplying by cosine or 35 degrees, which gives a force of 65.5 newtons to the right. To find the net horizontal force, the opposing force will be subtracted from the x component. This gives a net force of 58.5 newtons to the right, or 58.5 newtons i hat. On to the second part of the problem. Since the crate does not move vertically at all and has a downward gravitational force of 60 newtons, determine the normal force. We should identify all the forces in the y direction, the force of gravity, the y-force of Hendrix, and normal force. The y-component force of Hendrix can be found by taking 80 newtons and multiplying it by sine of 35 degrees. This calculates to a force of 45.9 newtons up. We might be tempted to say that the normal force is 60 newtons up, but if that's the case, it will cause the crate to be lifted. Remember, there is a y-component to the force of Hendrix and stating normal force to be 60 newtons and adding Hendrix's y component of force would suppress the force of gravity. However, it specifically states in the problem that the crate is moving across a flat surface and does not move vertically at all. In other words, the crate is neither being lifted or falling through the floor. If that's the case, we can state that the net force in the y direction is zero. The net force in the y direction is also the combination of the gravity force, the y component, and normal force. We know most of these variables, and using algebra, the normal force can be calculated. The normal force comes out to be 14.1 newtons up. This concludes this example, and I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.